Today we are making a quick and easy but super flavorful lemongrass ginger chicken, perfect for any busy weeknight. My family devoured these juicy chicken thighs and once it was all gone, they wanted even more. So I recommend you make a double batch of this recipe. So let me show you how to make it. You will need one piece of lemongrass, depending on how fresh or old it is, it can be pretty tough and fibrous. I've tried all kinds of methods to make it palatable in soups or stews because the flavor is so amazing but the texture not so much. I've tried mortar and pestle or a knife and slicing super super finely, but what I find is the most efficient and absolutely best method is using a microplane and grating the lemongrass extra finely. Remove at least one outer layer and cut off the super dry ends of the lemongrass and then go ahead and grate it with with the microplane. Look how finely it's grated, no more tough pieces to chew on. Once you've grated it all, add it to a large shallow bowl and get back to the chopping board to peel a two inch piece of fresh ginger and then use the microplane again to also grate the ginger. Then add the grated ginger to the lemongrass into the shallow bowl. Now for the garlic, you can use the microplane as well, of course, but I find it easier and faster to just use a garlic press. Press the cloves right into the shallow bowl, add sea salt to taste, two tablespoons avocado oil and a tablespoon of honey, and then mix it all up with a spatula until well combined. Now add a pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs to the marinade and use your hands to make sure the thighs are well covered in it. Then set it aside and let it marinate for 15 minutes on the counter or up to two hours in the fridge. This is a good time to get started on your side dishes. I love making some rice in the Instant Pot, just plain white rice or coconut rice because it's so easy and quick. And I love to just defrost some frozen broccoli. While the rice is cooking, you can also get started on finely slicing three to four scallions, just the green parts, save the white for another recipe. Then preheat a large pan over medium low heat. It's important that the pan is on medium low so the garlic and lemongrass don't burn. Once the pan is nice and hot, add the marinated chicken to it and without touching, sear it for four to five minutes on one side and three to four minutes on the other or until nice and golden brown. Work in two batches for this in order not to crowd the pan. Steam gets trapped if the thighs are too close together and then the chicken doesn't sear properly. Once you remove the second batch of seared chicken thighs, add a quarter cup chicken broth to the pan and start scraping off the burnt bits and pieces from the bottom of the pan with your spatula. Then add a tablespoon of coconut sugar, two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon rice vinegar and half a teaspoon sesame oil and mix well. Now return the chicken into the pan with the sauce and turn it around in the sauce to coat it all. Let it simmer for another minute or two, then remove from the heat, sprinkle the finely sliced scallions on top and then serve with rice and broccoli. Make sure you drizzle some of the sauce over everything and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're gonna give the recipe a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.